the secret to happiness. The secret to happiness is so obvious. It's been staring you in the face all your life. And that's why you haven't seen it. That's why you haven't noticed it. It's just far too obvious for your mind to pay attention to. You have many reasons for being unhappy. Many reasons. We can always find a reason to be unhappy. There are many reasons to be happy. I mean, to be unhappy. And when you're happy, you also have reasons to be happy. But the truth is, there is no reason to be happy. There are many reasons to be unhappy, but there's no reason to be happy. Happiness is not a reason. You think that you're happy because a certain situation happens or you've just fallen in love or it's a beautiful day or, or you've won a, an award or some situation in your life you think is making you happy. But it's really not that. There is no reason for happiness. Happiness just is. It's your natural state of being. It's who you are. And the secret to being happy is, is to let go of all those reasons for not being happy. To stop focusing on all these reasons for not being happy. And as soon as you do that, you're happy. There's no reason to be happy. There's nothing, nothing in the world can make you happy. You're already happy. The trick is that when it's a, it's a beautiful day or you've just fallen in love, you're not looking for anything. You're not resisting life, right, at that moment. It's like, oh, no, this is good. This is good. Yeah, I'll take this. This is nice. That's all. You're just not resisting life. You're not focusing on all your reasons for being unhappy. You're just being in this moment. You're accepting this moment and not resisting it. That's all. You're always happy. It's impossible not to be happy. Happiness is your very nature. But when your mind is distracted by all these reasons not to be happy, all these reasons to be unhappy, then you don't know it. You don't realize how happy you are. Happiness is your true nature. You're always happy. That's the secret to happiness. You're always happy. You're just focusing on all your reasons to be unhappy. And you have many, right? We all have reasons to be unhappy. I have dozens of reasons to be unhappy if I wanted to pay attention to them. But I don't because I'd rather be happy. So I am happy. I'm always happy because I'm not paying attention to all these reasons to be unhappy. Not long ago, I, I injured my right knee and uh, was in a lot of pain from that. And yet I was completely happy. So all that pain would be could be a reason for me to be unhappy, just one out of many reasons to be unhappy. The day is too cold, too hot, too sunny, too rainy, too this or that. You know, we can always find reasons to be unhappy. It's easy for our mind to find reasons to be unhappy. And when we find these reasons to be unhappy, we think we're unhappy. We feel like we're unhappy. We want to be happy and we don't realize that we already always are happy because we're believing these thoughts that we're not happy. So I could believe that because my knee was in a lot of pain that I should be unhappy. But I don't listen to those thoughts. So even though my knee was in a lot of pain, I was still just as happy as I am now. And as I was before, and as I always am. Because happiness is my true nature. 
just as it's your true nature. It's the very nature of being itself. And when I let go of thoughts, I'm happy. That's all. When I let go of all thoughts, I'm completely happy. When I'm not attached to thoughts, I'm completely happy, just as I am now. If I wanted to focus on a, on a reason, on a thought, that I'm unhappy for some reason, then, oh, isn't that a nice sound? It's my phone. If I wanted to focus on a reason to be unhappy, like I could say, oh, that phone is, the sound is disrupting this, uh, this satsang. But why would I do that? If I focused on a reason to be unhappy, then I would be unhappy. For sure, I would be unhappy. As soon as I focus on a reason to be unhappy, and I believe that reason, then I feel unhappy. I don't feel my happiness. I don't feel the happiness of my true nature that's always here. So I don't do that. That's all. That's the secret to happiness. I don't focus on the thoughts of why I'm unhappy or what reasons I would have for being unhappy. There are many reasons that I could come up with for being unhappy. I simply let those thoughts go. I don't believe them because my true nature is happiness. And as soon as I let go of those thoughts, I'm happy. So I don't attach to them and I just remain happy. So the secret to your happiness is that you are happy right now. No matter what's happening, you could just have a cancer diagnosis, find out you're dying of cancer or you've lost the person that you love most in the world, or you don't like the pandemic, or you don't like the political situation. All these reasons for being unhappy. You can focus on that and you will not feel happy. You will not feel happy. You will wish you would find a way to be happy. So you look at this satsang, I want to be happy. What's the secret to happiness? And you think it's some change in the world. If the political situation changes, then I'll be happy. If my cancer is cured, then I'll be happy. If the person that I love, you know, who died, comes back to life, then I'll be happy. You know, if the weather changes, if it stops raining and the sun comes out, then I'll be happy. If it stops snowing and becomes warm, if I move to a warmer climate or a colder climate or whatever is different from the way things are, then I'll be happy. But of course, you never really are, because that's not the secret to happiness. That's not why you're happy. You are happy. Right in the very moment that you have the cancer diagnosis, and it says you're going to die in two weeks, you're totally happy. When your body is racked with pain, you're completely happy. Because that's your nature. You are happy. You are happiness itself. It's just that you're focusing on all the reasons that you're not happy, all the reasons for not being happy. This is what your mind is doing to you. It's, it's hiding happiness from you. It's hiding the happiness that's always here from you so you don't experience it. What a shame, what a waste of a life, really. What a waste of your life. Why not be happy? Let those thoughts go and realize that you already are happy. I'm not sure of the name of, of the person that wrote the song a number of years ago, maybe five, six years ago, something like that, called Happy. I think it's Pharrell Williams, maybe. Um, or something like that. Anyways, that song was just about happiness, just happy like a room with no roof, a room without a roof, right? Happy. Happy. And many people, when they listened to that song, felt their natural happiness. They felt that they were happy. 
They were already happy and they thought they were happy because they were listening to that song, that that song made them happy. But that song only reminded them that they're already happy. It reminded them of the happiness that's always here which is good. I mean, that's why falling in love and these and, and the weather being beautiful or different things that you think are making you happy, they're just reminding you that you're already happy, that you've always been happy. And as soon as you stop focusing on the thoughts of your unhappiness and the things that should be different than they are and that you can't be happy if things are the way they are, as soon as you stop focusing your thoughts on that, you realize that you are happy, that you're always happy, that happiness is your very true nature. And it's wonderful to be happy all the time because it, it's your true nature. Your true nature is peace, happiness, and love. That's the experience of your true nature. Your true nature is your true nature. It's reality. It's what you really are. Not this illusion of a separate self, this illusion of someone that can only be happy when things are in a certain way in the world and won't accept life as it is. That's not who you are. That's not your true nature. That's an illusion. That's a dream. That's suffering. That's why you're suffering. As soon as you let go of these thoughts, let go of your attachment to these thoughts and simply be just now, in this moment, being. There is nothing in the world more exquisite than you, than simply being. This is the ultimate in happiness, true happiness, a room without a roof. We don't need a room without a roof. Happiness is here. Happiness is always here, present, as you, for you. And there is no situation in the world that can take that away from you. Absolutely nothing can happen to take happiness away from you. Only your mind can imagine that it has. Only your mind can imagine that because your body is racked with pain or your just lost a loved one or the political situation isn't the way you want it to be or the weather isn't the way you want it to be or something you know in your mind says it needs to be different than it is this it's the this is what our minds do our conditioned minds do they're trained to do this they're programmed to do this they're programmed to to make us not realize that we're happy and feel that we're unhappy and that we need to search for happiness somewhere out in the world with the right situation, I'll be happy. And miss, entirely miss the most obvious thing that's been staring you in the face your entire life. You already are happy. You're always happy. You cannot be anything other than happy. Peace and love. All the same. Your true nature is wonderful. It's everything that you've been seeking and looking for, but it is your true nature. So it is now and always. And all you need to do to experience true, absolute happiness is to let go of your attachment to these thoughts of unhappiness that are telling you that you're unhappy, that something needs to change and be better and different and more in this world for you to be happy. And it doesn't. It doesn't have anything to do with the world. It only has to do with you, with your true nature, with what you are and have always been. Just this pure, nature of being itself. Mm. That's happiness. So you cannot be anything other than happy. It's impossible. And yet your mind 
has so convinced you that you are that you don't experience it. So for a moment today, just let go of those thoughts of unhappiness, of wanting anything to be different than it is in this moment. And just be in this very moment with everything exactly as it is, without any thoughts about what it is. Just be here now. Because you always are. And you always are happy. Thank you, my friend. Enjoy this beautiful, happy day.